What's up, YouTube? We are back in the video. In the video, we got new XP, which you guys have to go look at today because it is Monday. We got plenty of new XP challenge. We got wins next game for 6,000 XP. Easy enough. Get 100 team tackles oh, in case you missed the cards. Great XP, 6,000 again. Score 15 touchdowns of conference story cards for another 3,500 XP. And you have your dailies, which means now you can finally get up to this next pack, level 38. The best, the easiest way to get all these challenges done is going to be over here in solo seasons. You want to be playing these seasons to get all that stuff. You know, freshman, varsity, season, all American season, whatever you want to play. I don't, it doesn't really matter. Or if you don't want to do that, you can play online, head to head, and all that stuff. That's the only way to get that stuff done. It's free XP. Really worth doing because those packs are really, 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 really good this year. Like this pack, people got McCaffrey's, people got Lamar's, people got all the LTs from alumni, people got Von Miller's, and all that stuff. Pretty soon, we're, we're going to be able to see the conference story cards that come out tomorrow. You'll probably be able to, you'll pull, be able to pull the LT out of, that, out of this pack. They are B and D's, but you get to choose two or three players. So imagine you go to imagine you get LTD and a champion. That would be crazy. I did not pull that in my first pack, but it's fine. But going over some coin make methods today, we're gonna go over to we're gonna go check the market for flipping. Because flipping is always basically the best method at all, like every day, most times. You want to go look at your 80 to 81s. They're going for 11k. Your 81s are going for 12k. Okay. Then we want to sort by. Let's just go. I'm just gonna go conference stories right now. Let's see if conference stories are cheap. Conference stories. I think what does work right now. Let's double check offense, defense. Look, you can do offense, defense. You can get that one for 8700. Not terrible. I mean, you could profit a thousand on it. You really have to, like decide what you want to buy this card for. How much profit you want to take? Like a thousand profit isn't bad. Like I'll buy this card right here. I'll take my thousand profit because I have nothing else to sell. I have gold to sell, but it's I it's gonna be a pain to sell those golds off still. But like a thousand profit, I know it's not much, but it will it will help. It will definitely help over the long term. Process of this. Let's go. Defense again. Let's see if there's anything there for defense. I'm guessing not. Probably. There it actually is. Like, look how fast you can make a few thousand. As but I missed the card. If, if you get the card, you, you make a few thousand pretty fast. Those eighty ones are actually not bad price either. Then you go next program. In case you missed it, in case you missed the cards, do go for a little bit more because it's a bigger, like more priced up reroll. Same thing as Alt Alumni. They go for a little bit more because they're a more expensive reroll pack. Normally, at least. But then you see legends. You can do legends, obviously. Legends. You have to sort by catalog, though. Most times, I'm guessing. I'm guessing you have to sort by catalog. Let me just we can just double check right here. You see, 53 minutes, 54 minutes right there. So you have to sort by catalog. Go over to the 80 overall Pat White or 81 Pat White or whatever player you want to go over. Sort by this, and you if you refresh it, you just click on the card, and you back out. That's all you do. And you hope that someone posts the card up cheap for you. Like 8,000, something like that. And then you can also do the same thing with the 81s, 82, 83s, anything. So let's go see if we can get an 81 real quick. Just click this button right here. Searching the market. A700. I'll take that. I'll sell it back for 12k, hopefully. It's not a bad price. Even if even if you're going for training, even, training rolls are not worth it ever. But if you're going for training... I mean, that's really, it's still, that's a really good training price. Cheapest training in the game you can get is off these 81s. But next thing we're going to go check out, we're going to go check out the A283 overall cards. Okay, let's back out of this card. Go over to the auction house again for A283. You can see I've, I do have a lot of cards that are investments and all stuff that I've been holding on to. But... I'll be talking a bit about investments on a different video because investments are very, very um, profitable but very risky at the same, same time if you don't know what you're doing. Um, Which, if you do want to watch someone for investing, go watch I Joe, I Joe Bruin. He knows everything. He's one of the best coin makers probably in the game. Might be the best. 
but let's go look at some A2s. We got same thing. You can go, go buy the new programs and all stuff like cover stories. A3s are more expensive right now because they will have a program tomorrow. People are investing. Okay, actually, let's probably, we should probably check out the let's check out the unfiltered price first before we do anything else. We have 24k, so you're gonna go for 20k. A3s are gonna be. A3s are really gonna be like a whack one. They're like 30k, but it depends on who you're buying really. Because A3s change up in price a lot. So if we're looking right here right now, I don't know these all, these in case missed cards are like weird for A3s right now. They're going for cheapish for like special programs. Up to alumni. Sort of offense right here. Anything here looks like there's not. But like on ultimate, I'm looking to get the A3s for 40k or less. That will give me a good profit. I, I mean, I was, at least that's what it looks like. Go Legends. Legend 36 minutes. I'm going to assume we have, we're going to have to catalog it again. Let's see. Yeah, we're going to have to catalog it. Let's check how much Legend 83s do go for right now. Legend 83s go for the price of 47.5k. So we're going to want to get them for like 40k. I assume. Let's go look. 42k. Okay. Click on it. Back out. And you can just keep refreshing until you get 40k under. Might take a little bit because it's a high overall card. It's not, it's not terrible. You know. I mean, it's not terrible. It's not. It's, you should see cards. But it's better on content days than obviously. Right now it, it is Monday. It, it's sort. It's not a content day, so it's gonna be a little more slow. Like, and it's so content is like filtered more slow on days that there's no content, and days like of content before content comes out. Like, on Sunday, market was extremely extremely slow because legends were de kept getting delayed, and literally nobody was doing anything because everyone was waiting for legends. Right, the, the slowest market of the year during that time but one thing you guys got one thing you, you guys make, gotta make sure you know of is you still you can still snipe 85s like 85 legends and all stuff they're still snipeable to make good profit you just refresh and refresh and refresh you could go newest like getting these cards for, like getting these cards are not like you should see probably a couple of hour i would assume at least i was yesterday but i guess that was a sun that was sunday but these cards are good, good buys, good snipes if you can get if you can get them. Buy like there's a lot of cards in this. There's a lot of these like higher cards you can snipe. Even if you go, go look at the core cards, you can go look. You can snipe core cards, which is people. I think it's like the best method in the game for people that know. If you know that your market, if you know the market for these 8045s, it's like the best like way to make coins in this game. At least that's what I've seen from people. That's what like all the all the major 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 coin people do. Like really, I've had a lot of coins in this game. I mean, cat, if you search a catalog, it'll help you probably too. Sort by go in the catalog, look who's who's expensive. So then you can think about like think about what the prices actually are. Then you can go look at go look and buy cards. At least he's Arizona guy. You go over here. Let's go check his price in, in here. He's for around 212, so that's not a buy right there for 220. All stuff. Will Johnson is gonna buy that. Nicholas guy's gonna buy. Then wall receiver. 48k is honestly so cheap for these 84s. I'm kind of surprised it's that cheap now. So sort by catalog. Catalog is loading pretty slow now. Let's check the 84 we have. He plays for. Not that. Not that thing. If you go for 68,000 coins, I don't. Maybe fifty-two. Maybe that's a fifty-two thousand card. I don't. These cards, uh, eighty-four, are really cheap now. Kind of surprised me that these cards are so cheap now. But really, the good cards go for like the good cards are like fast cards and all that stuff. At least most of them are fast ones. You just want to go position by position, look for them, look for the good cards, good flips and all that. But 
Make sure you guys like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time.